What's up, Judy? Good girlfriend, good boyfriends, and everybody in between. All right, I'm on my way to go see The Lion King. It's the 19th. So, I mean, it's the 18th, so I'm going to a day early, and I'll fill you in and tell you all about it when I get back home. See ya. Um... All right, Judy, good girlfriends, good boyfriends. You know what? I just got back in from seeing The Lion King and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on it, okay? Now, I'm not one of these YouTube wannabe critics or, you know, so-called movie aficionados. I'm a fan, just like you. I'm a regular person that's paying my 12 to $20 to get into these movies. So I get to the movie theater and see that I did the movie on my app through Regal Cinemas and I seen that I actually got the tickets for a theater that was about 20 minutes away from me in another direction. The people at Regal, I want to say this is no, they're not paying me and they're not, you know, there's no sponsorship, but the people at Regal Cinema, uh, Edwards Marquis here in Houston, thank you. They are the nicest people in the world. I've never had a problem. If there was a complaint, they always took care of it. But they actually took my tickets and exchanged them and gave us tickets for the 830 showing. So, and we got the seats we wanted. So, thank you, Regal Cinema. Regal Cinema. So, we get to the movie and it is packed. They had five or six different screens. They had this RPX, RPX 3D, IMAX, IMAX 3D, and they had standard. Uh, this movie was starting every hour on the hour tonight. So, you know what? I've been seeing these these reviews and that, you know, like I said, I've been watching these reviews here on um, YouTube and they're talking about, oh, it's a good movie. But it's frame by frame, and there's it's 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 emotionless or soulless, and it's not like you know what y'all need to get up, you twenty year olds, you thirty year olds on here that are think you know everything about nothing, get up out of your feelings, okay? All right, take a couple of seats in the corner somewhere and turn the hell around. This movie is not emotionless. This movie has just as much emotion and maybe even in heart and maybe even more heart than the animated version. Okay. It's so beautiful to the eye to see, you know, these mountains and the sky. Yes, it, even if it is computer generated, but it was beautiful to the eye. Uh, you do notice a lot of differences in dialogue, uh, script wise. There is a lot of there's a lot of ad libbing. There's a lot of uh, lines in there that were not in the Broadway show or the the original animated version. Uh, people, you can hear people laughing through the movie. At certain parts, just all of a sudden, like when when the lionesses decided to, you know, when Simba showed back up to Pride Rock and the lionesses, you know, all seen them, you know, they all clapped when he 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 started to walk up on, you know, the the top of Pride Rock. My honest opinion, this is a hit. Okay, you can take it how you want it. Uh. All the actors uh, did a great job. It was wonderful to see that they gave Nala. And that's another thing. That's another difference. That's a big difference. So I don't get what these goddamn people are talking about. Okay? And I, I mean it. I don't get what they're talking about. Nala has lines in this movie that you didn't hear in the Broadway show or the uh, original animated feature. Okay? Okay? She has lines, uh, Timon and Pumbaa steal every scene they're in. Every scene they are in, they steal it. I mean, they make this movie. You know, they are such, they, the act, you know, Billy Eichner and uh, Seth, Seth Rogen kill it. They kill this movie. I mean, they killed it. Their performances were excellent. Uh, 
and, and uh, the the actress, uh, I recognized her voice, and I can't I can't remember her name, but she plays Shazi, uh, uh, you know the, the the character that Whoopi Goldberg. I really would to be honest with you, I like her. She brought some drama to that hyena's uh, character uh, and her voice. But I think I really would have liked to see Whoopi uh, or her Whoopi's voice in there. Uh, and But like I said, this movie is very pleasing to the eye. It's very entertaining. This is one I will have in my collection. I will watch it maybe a couple more times, especially once I get it on. Uh, I, I think I might go see it again in a couple of days when I'm in Vegas with my cousins. Uh, it's just that... I got this thing about going to these movies and these and these people got all these kids in there and the kids are, you know, but hey, that's because I'm in my mid 40s. OK, but overall, this you're going to love it. OK, if you're going in there with an open mind and you're not going there to prejudge it or to act like you were some expert or Disney expert, you're going to love it. OK, now I did say that earlier. I thought because I was doing a, a reaction video for Cats, I thought that, you know, we were going to see the trailer for Cats. I'm glad we didn't. Uh, but the trailer for Mulan was released and Mulan looks like it's going to be really good. I haven't seen I haven't seen the animated version of Mulan, but this live action of Mulan is, looks like it's really going to be real good. It, it reminds me of like. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and all those kind of movies. So, uh, you know, maybe I'll give that a chance. But so, if I had to say, if I had to give this this movie a rating on the basis of 1 to 10, and 10 being the best, I would give it at least an 8, okay? I give it an 8, and why is because... The sound, and I think it may be on the theater's part. The sound was a little low, not that low, but I was expecting this big grand sound coming through all these speakers, like earth rattling. But, um, I but I have to give it an eight because you know nothing is pure pure perfection. Um, but I did love it. Like I said, I did love it a lot more than I like the. Uh, uh, than I thought I would, and it was beautiful. Um, and now, as like I said, just go in, just go in with an open mind and enjoy it. Don't try to pick it apart. Don't try to overanalyze it. Don't keep putting your mind back to 1992 or whatever on the original. Just enjoy it. And if you enjoy it, if your kids gonna enjoy it, you know. And I, I know they were saying there was some scenes. Yeah, I did jump a couple of times, like when Nala jumped out at Timon and Pumbaa. But overall, like I said, this movie is not frame by frame. I mean, well, there are some scenes that remind you of the animated movie. But it, you mind, you know what? Like I said, there's a lot of added dialogue and all of that to it. So just go enjoy it. I know I did. I'll probably see it another one more time before uh, the summer is over with. But until next time we talk, put that in your tea mug and sip on it. And uh, you tell your mama, I said, hey.